And that's it for the advanced tab. And then we're gonna go over to the broadcast settings. And right here, you wanna choose what you wanna, as you guys saw, file output, but you wanna put that on live stream. You just wanna pick your source. Are you going to stream on YouTube slash YouTube gaming? Are you going to stream on Twitch? You just wanna pick that, it's very basic. <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new OBS tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to set up and use an Elgato game capture a capture card in OBS. So basically I'm going to run through everything you need to know. First of all I want to mention I'm not going to cover like uh, the settings in your actual Elgato like program because first of all when you connect your Elgato to your computer uh, you're gonna install all the drivers and there's probably like a program you're also gonna use to record and everything I'm not gonna go into that. I'm just gonna show you guys like how to uh, Set up and connect your uh, like Elgato HD60 uh, To OBS so you can do whatever you whatever you like So I'm gonna run through everything you need to know and also guys Please excuse me for the little lower quality of the of the screen because I think because I moved and the little settings were a little bit off, uh, but I'll be making sure that next week it just will be all fixed. So with that being said, let's start off with the actual video. So basically what you want to do, like I said, so first of all, when you bought your Elgato H60, you're gonna, you're gonna connect it to your computer and you're gonna install all the drivers that you need and also probably the program uh, that is recommended then you can just go ahead and use it so so now that you captured your elgato h60 you want to make sure that you also have that one in obs so what we're going to do is as you guys can see right here uh, i have obs open and we are going to create a new scene first of all as you guys can see right here so i'm going to go and add scene it's all in dutch but it'll be fixed in a minute and i'm just going to call this like a regular scene then i'm going to create a new source and you're going to create a new a video capture device as you guys can see and you're going to just just call this uh, Elgato, very simple, so it's easy to remember. So we picked the Elgato as a source, and we will come back to that a little bit later on in the video. So moving on to the actual settings. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go over to the top left. So first of all, let's click on settings as always, and I'm gonna go straight over to encoding, because there are a few settings you need to uh, apply before you can just go ahead and start using your Elgato. So first of all, your bitrate is the most important thing ever. So basically this bitrate is based on your upload speed, okay? So when you want to stream in HD, you want to just do upload speed and the minimum upload speed that you need to have in order to stream in HD 2.5 up or above. That's just better. So you just want to right here, you just want to fill in what you have. You also want to en enable uh, use CBR as always. It is a very, actually very basic. Make sure you have, the, you have the right settings. You can find it on speedtest.net and then you can just base your uh, max bitrate on your upload. You also wanna enable uh, CBR padding. It's also very crucial, I would say, for the audio encoding right there. You just wanna do, you don't wanna do anything. And then we're gonna go over to the broadcast settings. And right here, you wanna choose what you wanna, as you guys saw, file output, but you wanna put that on live stream. You just wanna pick your source. Are you going to stream on YouTube slash YouTube gaming? Are you going to stream on Twitch? You just wanna pick that, it's very basic. Right here, you wanna fill in your stream key. That's going to be on your Twitch dashboard and you will get your stream key while you're setting up events on YouTube, like the like a live streaming. Don't want to downscale it, and you just want to pick your FPS. I would say if you are going to game, um, you can just you can you can choose to put it on 30 or 60. You can try what like you can look what's, what what you can look what works best for you. And you want to just make your video adapter. And as you guys can see, that's your resolution. And once again, you do not want to downscale it. So as you guys can see, hotkey is not an importance. And right here, you want to fill in uh, with uh, what, like, like what is here. So you want to go over to put that one on normal. And as you guys can see, the scene buffering time milliseconds. You want to put that on 2,000. And that's the most crucial thing ever on, in this advanced tab. Then you also want to make sure that the second one is checked. And I would say, keep, and, and then in the video tab, you just want to keep this one on very fast, main and two. Also check this one, and then also at the bottom, only check this one and leave the, and leave the rest how it is, default and on 20. And that's it for the advanced tab. So make sure that you just copy everything that you see in the screen, and you should be good to go. And as you guys can see, we're just going to go through all the tabs, and I would say you are done for that part, guys. I mean, like, as you guys can see, uh, we're just going to through everything, and I don't know, like, you go, if you go into the encoding, make sure you have the right settings, go to broadcast settings, you just wanna make sure they click on live stream, and then fill in all the details. I have also have a separate video, like how to stream on YouTube and everything, so make sure to go and check out the description, and then we're good to go. And did you guys remember when we just started the video that we created a source with the Elgato? So we're gonna go back over to the source of 
the Elgato. As you guys can see, this one, you want to click on properties and you just want to make sure that you disable the microphone because you don't want to have like dual audio. Just make sure to disable this guy. As you guys can see, that's all about, that's about, that's, that's about halfway. Make sure to disable that. Like that's the only thing I wanted to mention. So make sure to disable it. And as you guys can see, the resolution is just uh, 9, 1280 by 720. The FPS is still 60. And I don't know, guys. You are actually. And also. Oh, fuck yeah. Make sure that, that like that. Make sure that everything is how it is. And I would say let's go click, let's click on OK and let's go over to the web. You also can you can also can add a webcam. So I'm gonna click on properties and you make sure that you will also disable the microphone. And as you guys can see, the scene buffering use buffering milliseconds is 1300 because your Elgato takes about minus 1500. So that's why you need to fill in this 1300 and the other 200. That's basically how it is. Otherwise, you're gonna be have have like really like weird weird. You're gonna be you're gonna be having like really weird. Uh, like effects like when you're talking it's going to skip a few things it's not gonna be natural so make sure you do it make sure you go ahead and do that and I would say make sure also to disable the web like the audio of your webcam because that's you don't want to have like just multiple microphones capturing different audios and I would say when you click on ok you're ever that's it you're good to go guys that's how you do it and this is how you set up your Elgato for recording now you can just go ahead and use your Elgato so I would say that's how you do it. So that's it for the video guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below for more OBS uh, tutorials every uh, Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. PST as always on my channel. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe for more videos. Uh, and th thank you guys for almost 50,000 subscribers. We're only like, I would say like about like around 2,000 away. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. So thanks again for the support. I'll see you guys tomorrow for one Sony Vegas tutorial as always on Wednesday. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford. <laughs>